For many guitarists, when they start learning, they begin with simple one-line melodies like this. Which is great, but then after a while you start playing more complicated music, with chords or a bass line, like this. These two parts, the melody and the bass, are called voices. And we can tell they're different voices because these notes are pointing up and these notes are pointing down. When we think of a piece of music, we of course think of the melody. But it's a common mistake to think that that's the only thing that matters, and that these bass notes are there just to kind of help out. What we really need to do is to treat this bass line with the same respect as the melody. These are two voices working together to create a harmony. It's not a melody with just some notes down here tagging along. To play bass notes on the classical guitar, we're going to be using our thumb. You might want to use a more fleshy part of the thumb, or perhaps a bit more nail. You can experiment with a different amount and see which kind of sound you prefer. Just like with our fingers, we can use either rest stroke or free stroke. But with bass notes, it's actually often more important to use rest stroke. The reason being is that often we don't want multiple notes ringing on at the same time. If you play an A in the bass, followed by an E, you're going to want to use a rest stroke to stop that A ringing on. This is called damping. Similarly, if we play an E followed by an A, we're going to want to stop this E string from ringing afterwards. So we're going to place our thumb back on the string to stop the sound. You'll need to look out for any rests in the music as well, because when you see these, it means you're going to want to damp these notes. And of course, all the different expressive ideas that we use for the melody can be used in the bass as well.